Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Backbone JS tutorial from scratch and this is our part 7th of this video session series. In previous parts, we have seen so many Backbone JS tutorials in great detail. Some of the topics that I have written for you, we have seen so far like introduction of Backbone JS, working principle of Backbone JS, Backbone JS views, as well as we have seen the templating engines in Backbone JS, in which we have used underscore JS as a templating engines in Backbone JS. So in this video session, we will learn about Backbone JS events. So guys, if you are a beginner from this video session, then I strongly recommend you to go to our YouTube channel, type OWT means online web tutor. You will find several resources about Backbone JS where we have provided all videos regarding these topics that I have written for you. Just go to our YouTube channel and study all these topics in great detail. After watching these videos, you will get the clear vision about this topic that is we are going to learn in this video session. So let's get started with Backbone JS events. Backbone JS events are the modules that can be mixed into any object. It facilitates the object to bind and trigger the custom events by using desired name of our choice. Basically guys, Backbone JS are the modules means we fire as we know in the introduction part or we have discussed about the features of backbone JS that views basically the representational section of backbone JS, which basically provides two types of functionality first it renders the view means it renders the representational part to the client and also it fires the dom events all the events which actually fires from representational part all events are ha actually handled by backbone JS views. So events are the second way of representational part. So backbone JS are the modules that can be mixed to any, any object. All the objects and to bind and trigger from the view by our custom events. Basically in a view we use our backbone JS events basically in two ways. First the built in events of backbone. These are the guys as you can see these are the events like on, off, trigger, once. These are the events are called built-in events of Backbone Chase which basically by default provided by Backbone Chase library file. But we will make in this video session about delegate events means we directly fire our own custom events from the view. About these built-in events of Backbone we will see in later video session when we will study about models and collections because these all events are we fire by the help of listen to events okay so in this video session we will see about the delegate events which directly fired from the view and in the features discussion of this video session series guys we have discussed that the events are are uh, one of the feature of representational part means view which actually handles all the request which comes from client and it goes back to the model and collections by the help of those modules we will get the get back data from data sources so so these are basically initiated under view so let's get started with a simple program of using delegate events which actually fired from the view so just go to your folder here is the folder and here is the video 7.html is the file where we will run our delegate events and this is the JS folder guys which actually stores the library files of backbone JS. Just click on that, edit with notepad plus plus. This is the file where we will code. So just need to create our view.
Now, we are created a simple view to render our contents that we have written inside render function. In slice function, by default, it acts as a constructor for our view. If we want to create our view in backbone.js, then we need to extend backbone.view. And basically, by making object of that, we will call the render method with the help of in slice. So just back to our browser and refresh this page. Once we have refreshed, just click on inspect. Go to console. Here is the message guys as you can see we have fired from our render method. So let's implement some of our events. Just to say let's make some templates. So far we have made a simple button inside external templates and this is the syntax guys that you need to include while you defining a uh, external template in backbone.js application. Here you have to write the type attribute and attribute should be text slash html or it should be template and the id is compulsory because we will call in this backbone view with the help of this id. So just copy of this id. Go to a view and here you need to create template All we have done that we need to include this template to our view. To include the template in view, just we need to include underscore dot template as a method and this is the selector jQuery selector with the help of HTML method. By the help of this ID, we have called this template inside our view and this is the DOM element where which we are going to render our template inside this div. This is the div guys with ID content where we are going to put our template contents and this dot dollar el is a jquery object which has basically points to this storm element and we just rendering these all contents of this template into our tom so just save your file go to browser and refresh this page as you can see click me is the button that we have implemented under our template as you can see this is the template where we have implemented our button and by the help of this dot dollar real we have actually binded this button into our DOM. Now we are going to fire the click event means we want that something happens when we click on this button. So backbone events comes into play. When we click on this button then something happens this comes under the backbone events. To bind our delegate events under this view, we need to include events as a property of this backbone view. So just we need to include events. Here we have to write our selector with the event. First the name of event. Suppose we want as a click event on this button. Just write click. It's an event and in which selector we are going to perform this action we want that this id when clicked button this id when click then we want something happens so just click copy this button click as a selector it's an id just with has sign and here is the callback function suppose we want that on click as a callback function means this is the event which actually fires when we click this id with button okay so when we click 
on this id then this function will execute and this is the callback function we need to define this function just copy this name paste it here and defined as a callback function here just suppose we want for now that we want to alert some message on button click So just save your file, go to your browser and refresh this page. As we on click on this button, then this ID should be triggered and this callback function should be called and we got the message like hey I am here. Just click on that. This is the message guys as you can see we have actually binded with this button. So you need to remember that while defining any events in your backbone view you should define events as a property of backbone.view where you have to write syntax like first should be the event name event name after that you need to write selector and here we have to write the callback function so this is the very basic syntax guys to define any backbone events while calling over any selector so just like we need to append some content like hey just click on button to execute some operation just save your file go to browser and refresh this page this is the content that we have appended with our template so this is how we have seen the firing of delegate events with the external templates. Let's make this functionality with inline templates. Just remove this here from here. Now we are going to define our inline templates within this template method. Hey. Just we are not defining any ID of this just leave it as a button so when we click on it's a button then on click events should be fired so when we click on button on click events should fired and after firing it will return message like this so just save your file go to browser and refresh this page just click on that hey I am here so this is the message that we have written as an alert inside this method. Let's make some other JavaScript operations like if you are defining a equal to 10, b equal to 20, just change its name, some more values. So after clicking on this button, we want the sum of these two numbers will be appeared in console message. So console.log sum of suppose like A and B is equal to its A plus B. Just save your file. Go to browser and refresh this page. Inspect that element. Just click on console. Click on this button. After clicking on this button, just inspect once again. Here as we can see, sum of 10 and 20 is equal to 30. Because we have operated this functionality from our on-click listener. So this is how we have seen about the delegate events with inline templates. Let's make another button here. Just to give an idea of that, like simple. This is the ID and this button has no ID. 
so when we want to trigger any function because this is also a button and this is also a button so when we click on any button then after getting the button as a selector it will fire the same callback function which we have written here so just get rid of this and replace with the alert function just save your file go to browser and refresh this page some of click on this button first as we can see alert function running click on this alert function running these two methods actually have called the same callback function because we haven't attached with any id we have attached with a tag and this tag should be equal to this so all this callback function actually attached with these two ids we want that it will fire only once when we click on this button we don't want to that when we click either of the two it will run we want that it should run when we click on this id of simple so just click on id copy of that and paste it here means we want the callback function should be call on click event when the button should id simple so just save your file go to browser and refresh this page so just click on that nothing happens because this button has no id with simple so just click on that as we can see the alert function running so we learned that how we fire our custom delegate events on click events so instead of click events you can also run like mouse over when we move our mouse to these buttons then this function should be called as a callback function means when we pass our mouse over button with id simple then this callback function should be called just save your file go to browser and refresh this page so just hover your mouse over button now i am hovering my mouse over some all, all values button nothing happens just hover your mouse over click me as you can see all alert function running this function should fire because we have written actually the event as mouse over so on mouse moving over the button with id simple the callback function has called and it is giving an alert message so these are the guys custom delegate events which actually we have binded with our view we have seen these all events with our external template as well as our internal templates in later video session we will discuss about models and collections then and that specific condition we will discuss about our built-in events in backbone like on off trigger and many more and also we will discuss about the custom delegate events in more great detail when we learn about those topics so guys i think i have made much more clear concept about the custom delegate events in backbone chase if you are get confused about how we use templates then i have also made the video sessions about templating engines in backbone views where we have seen the use of underscore templates so where i have left handlebars for upcoming videos so guys i think you like this video session and if you have any query about this video session then please drop your comment in comment box i will give my reply as soon as possible so guys for this video session thank you for watching have a great day